What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty. Back in the building, back in this car, about to go and pick up those Game Royal Ones. Those Game Royal Ones dropped today, and I'm late. Yo, Vintage Frank, man. Remember when I started doing his YouTube channel, and I was doing pickups? I was late every single Saturday to pick up my kicks. And today's no different, man. So, with further ado, we about to head to, uh, actually two spots, man. So I got a, quite a bit of dropping to do to get these uh, these shoes. I actually won the raffle at Jimmy Jazz, and that was in Gainesville, y'all saw that vlog. And the second raffle was off Foot Locker uh, Reservation app. That's in Lake City, or Leesburg rather. I've never been to that mall, ever. As long as I live in Florida, as long as I've been commuting from Ocala to Orlando, been to Miami, been to Tampa, I have never been to Leesburg. I didn't even know there was a mall there. That's about a 30 minute drive, so it's no biggie. But we about to swing through there too as well, and probably cop a second pair. You never know, man. Follow me. Alright, so I'm en route to Gainesville right now. That's gonna be the first stop. About a 45 minute drive. I have to go there first because they released the pairs at 12 o'clock. So I gotta get there before 12 since I, you know, won the reservation or the raffle rather. Heading to Jimmy Jazz to get my size 12. Yo, these things already sold out on the Nike sneaker app. Sold out within 30 minutes, man. Sold out, gone. I didn't think there would be anything special, but I guess Jordans in most cases, people would say sitting. That's not the case here, especially with ones. So if this shoe is gonna sell out, you already know what the pandemonium is gonna be for those uh, shadow ones. It's gonna be crazy for those. I'm not caring to double up on this pair, even though I'm a cop two. Hold on to a pair, trade down the line or sell, or potentially a, a second pair for the Royals because I didn't get two pairs of those. And in case I strike out on the shadows, maybe I can throw that in as a consolation with I'm about to buy myself a, a pair. Yo, but how you guys did on the sneaker app? Did you cop, did you win raffles, did you win a reservation? I think this shoe was a GR, but it's just the fact that shoes are not, you know, shoes are selling out. I guarantee it's gonna restock later, but where though? That's the only the only question. Where, where would this shoe restock at? I know Finish Line is notorious for restocking. They dropped the, they dropped the uh, UNC 11s yesterday. Friday, if you guys haven't seen that, that shoe restocked. The Gold Toes restocked. I'm sure there was another pair of shoes that restocked somewhere. Also, what, how you guys did on Tinkers, man? I haven't even checked to see if I won the reservations for the Tinkers. You know, there's a drawing, you know how those goes. The only drawing I ever won was those LeBrons, which you guys saw, or the Moabs, I copped those. But let's take a look at those Tinkers, man. Let me sit you guys down for a while, let you know how badly I took this. I won't even, Yo, drawings can't be considered L's, man. Yo, that's just like a half court shot. All drawings should be considered like a half court shot, man. If you make it, you're lucky. If you miss, it's not a big deal. You're not expected to hit it, right? So that's how I take it. Anyways, man, I'm gonna sit you down. That's the scene. I'll probably tell you if I got those Tinkers or not. All right, follow me. So by the looks of this, yeah. I didn't win, go figure, right? Like, when have I ever been selected? Never, well actually, I lied. My losing streak stopped, I think like two drawings ago, when I won those LeBrons, so I guess I can't be too bitter. I didn't want those shoes, you know what I mean? So, anyways man, let's take it to Jimmy Jazz. So I'm out here in the elements, in this Florida weather. The sun is out, and I got this damn sweater on, man. Hopefully the wind pick up later, man. Hope this wasn't a waste of a building now, heading to Jimmy Jazz. The mall's not too packed, man, so. Hopefully this, I could be in and out like takeout and then head to my second location. On feet, I got the metallic red. Things like the third time I rocked these. First time I bust these out was my birthday last year in August. I think I rocked them one other time after that. Can't remember. But definitely rocked these a handful of times though. Sorry for the light and Jimmy Jazz in the distance. Two minutes closer to securing my pair. Taking it to the crib. Secure the bag, most people would say. Still got one more trip to make, and that's to uh, another mall in Leesburg. Probably gonna be like an hour and 10 minutes from here. Then I'm gonna call it a wrap. So period number one down, period number two coming soon. Yeah, my life would have been too easy if I could have picked up the second pair from this Foot Locker. Drive clear across the state to a mall I've never been to, cop the second pair. But anyways, we're just gonna walk in here real quick, see what's popping. Nothing, a lot of things sitting. Nothing we haven't seen already. So good thing I stopped at Foot Locker because they did have an extra pair, size 12s. So that saved me a trip. So I'm gonna pick up my second size 12 pair in Gainesville. So yeah, I'm gonna skip out on that Leesburg trip. It's a good, good thing I stopped by. But I'm gonna take a look at these Pachetta 12s real quick. Let's see what they look like in hand. <laughs> Those Pachetta 12s right here. I think it's Pachetta, right? That's what they call them. This is the last size in here. This is a women's shoe. 
definitely that shoe I was gonna get. What they call these? Are the set of twelves? Yeah. We got the quilted leather quilted. We got this fake plastic looking thing. White alto, go hits for aglet, rope laces. Oh, we also got the metal joint. It's a bit, well, plastic. On the outsole, you do got the shank plate in the middle. You got this uh, tan Jordan 23 and Jumpman. Back heel, this is leather. Looks like it's a embossed. Leather feel good though. Man, if this was a men's shoe, I'd probably pass. I'm not even gonna lie. Craftsmanship is not what I would want. So it's not a premium shoe. It's like a general release type shoe. So, hard pass for me. The ish is this, man. So on the Foot Locker app, I tried to do the reservation. And uh, of the three stores I picked up, I had to go to a mall I have never been to. A store in Leesburg. If you're from Florida, I live in Central Florida. Leesburg is part of Central Florida, but it's not in my city. So I won a pair of Jimmy Jazz, as you can see here. And I was about to leave after I pick up my pair. And I saw a Foot Locker in the distance. I said, let me go in Foot Locker and see what's popping. I got into Foot Locker and I just asked the girl, say, hey, by any chance, uh, do you got those rolls? She goes, yeah, we got them. And I'm thinking like, okay, you know, the reservation for Foot Locker usually ends at three o'clock. People that don't pick up the pairs, they can cop. So I just randomly asked on the whim, uh, any pairs available to sell? She's like, I think we sold out. I'm thinking, sold out. Oh, everybody must have picked up the pairs. But then she's like, let me ask somebody. So she asked another girl, her coworker, Hey, do we got any more of those uh, Jordan 1s for sale? She goes, I think we got two left. So I'm thinking, two left? Reservation? All right, whatever. Yo, three minutes later, the girl came back with a size 12. Of only two pairs of shoes, she had my size. And I was like, yo, let me get it. So she's like, all right, cool bet. Also, you guys saw the little quick review of those Vincetta 12s for the females. Checked out, you know, on my way out. I was like, you guys didn't do a reservation? She goes, nah, they changed it to first come, first serve. Mind you, Foot Locker, the last two one releases, it was first come, first serve. I didn't even jump on the app. Then on Friday, you guys decided to do reservations. Now it's too late for me to go into the reservation app and try to reserve up here. So I missed out on those two releases at your store now you guys had a reservation for these game rolls and then now all of a sudden you guys change it to first come first serve get your act together man you're confusing your customers you lose out on sales maybe not because i saw a lot of people in the mall with a bunch of pairs they're probably gonna resell it who knows i'm sure these are not hitting for too much so if you guys want to cop you're probably gonna pay like 30 or 40 dollars over resale which is not too bad i also got an option to pick up a third pair i'm debating on that since my day was playing out to drive to leesburg I might just do it for the vlog. I'll call that Audible in the next five or 10 minutes on my way back home. Follow me. So I made it to the crib. Decided not to go to the second spot. And I'm back at the crib, y'all, with two pickups. One of them is from Jimmy Jazz. You already know what's in here. Jordan 1 Game Royals. Peep the label. Size 12, my size. And the second pickup from House of Hoops. You already see the bag, you already know what it is. Another Jordan 1 Game Royals. Peep the label, size 12, my size. So that's right, this was a eventful and successful trip. Was able to cop two pairs of Jordan 1 Game Royals. If you guys don't know already, I was the first one to drop the Game Royals uh, first look and review on YouTube. That video did numbers for my channel, being a small channel, you know, yeah. That, that video speak for itself. But now I have them in hand. And I, yes, I have two pairs. Didn't care to double up, but the opportunity presented itself, so you gotta take advantage. We call that PTS, pimp the situation. So I pimped the situation, caught two pairs, and I'm kinda excited. Now that I got these shoes actually in the sneaker room, man, so let's go over the sneaker room review. All right, like I said, I hit you guys in the head before for the first look and first thoughts and first impression. Now I have these shoes in hand in the sneaker room. Let's take another look. Game roll ones, got the extra laces on the side, all white toe box. Game Royal colorway throughout. People say these like the reverse frags or frags, whatever the case is. The leather on here is subpar, nothing special. The outline of the toe box actually pretty good, but the toe box itself, subpar. Remind me, like I said, the yang and yangs type of leather, nothing special. Same thing as the quarter panel, same thing as the swoosh. OG high, you can see how high the cut is. Ear joint wings logo on the side. Uh, Game Royal outsole colorway. And that's pretty much all you can go over on the shoe. Here's the second pair. And what everyone cares about is this Nike ear on the tongue. So all black tongue comes with black laces as well. I think that's all the colors the laces come in, black and royal. Like I said, I got two pairs. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the second pair, but you know, I love ones. Doesn't hurt for me to keep them. I have multiple pairs of same silhouette, same colorway. So what's another two pairs of the game rolls in the collection? Now this pair is from Foot Locker. Let's take a look at the pair that came from Jimmy Jazz. Here's my second pair. Here's both shoes. Fundamentally the same. As far as flaws, craftsmanship, 
up to par. Don't see much glue marks. Don't see much stitching errors. These are never been tried on, never been laced. Pretty much DS, bro. This is dead stock as you can get. This the pair from Jimmy Jazz, and this the pair from Foot Lock. Double up. Wasn't intentional. Again, I started off with a size 11, and I pretty much had an early reserve pair, which I struck out on, which I regret. But in the day, I did the work, and I was able to obtain as much pairs as I wanted. I do have a third pair available for me if I wanted, size 12 in the Leesburg Mall. But you already know I opt out of that. That wasn't my drive. Pretty much 45 minutes out the way for a third pair when I already have two. It wasn't a big deal to me. Got two pairs, both my size. I think I'm happy with that. Overall, what a success. You know what I'm saying? It's midday right now. It's like 1.30. And that's pretty much it of the video, guys. Like I said, I got up early. Did my due diligence. Was able to secure the two pairs I just showed you. Decided to have both of them. Not sure what I'm going to do with one of the pairs. May keep it. Maybe do a trade. Shadow Ones comes out less than a month from now. And I got that video coming here shortly. Then we'll go too much in depth for the review of this. Because like I said, I did a first look, first impression. Like a month back. Like I said, I was one of the first people on YouTube, if not the first, to review that shoe and bring it to you guys. Now that I have them in the sneaker room, I just want to show you guys and show you the pickup video. So I hope you appreciate that type of video. If you're new to this channel, you just like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Everyone else, man, be patient with your boy. Slowly but surely replying to every single person. You'll see my response here shortly. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your patience. And nevertheless, man, you already know my slogan. Good to go.